Good morning and welcome to The Daily Word. My name is John Robbins. Today I'm going to read one verse from the third chapter of the book of Genesis. What I want to do over the next several days is look at the story of Adam and Eve, little bits of it, each day. So I read one verse. Now the serpent was more crafty than any other wild animal that the Lord God made. He said to the woman, did God say you shall not eat from any tree in the garden? Now, one of the things that we discover about the story of Adam and Eve is really, in many ways, a story about us. And so, if we look at this from the very beginning, Eve is tempted by the serpent. The serpent represents temptation. And temptation says to Eve, did God say you shall not be able to eat from any tree that is in the garden? We know that what God said is you can eat from any tree in the garden except the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. What we discover is that temptation skews the truth. Temptation says, is it true that you can't eat from any tree? Actually, they could eat from every tree except one. So what we discover is that temptation comes to us and skews what truth is really all about. That happens to us. That's how we justify inappropriate or sinful behavior. We skew the truth. We begin to believe that the truth is no longer there are going to be consequences to my behavior, but we now believe that somehow we can get away with it. And so really the story of Adam and Eve initially is a story about how temptation comes to us, and if we are not careful, we allow temptation to tell us a lie. When we give in to that lie, of course, we sin. So I want us to be very intentional today about thinking about those things in life that can be tempting to us. Why are we so tempted to give in to that which somehow seduces us. It is because oftentimes we know that temptation comes in the form of a lie. Though it is pretty, it smells good, it is appealing in whatever way, whatever it might be, whether it's another person or it's money or it's power, whatever it may be, it comes to us as a false truth. And if we are not careful, when we give in, we'll pay a heavy price. So let's think today about what it means to be careful when we face temptation.